San Francisco. Hello people, Bobo Whispers over. Today I'm gonna eat yellow oranges, mini yellow oranges and the big oranges. I'm gonna tell you about a story in San Francisco. I think I spoke your grandma, a Chinese grandma. <laughs> yeah. We were standing in line just um, to wait so we can pay for our goods. It was at the store, Ross Dress for Less. Oh. And it was just like um, I said to her because uh, she was very fussy. Uh, she standed behind my wife, so I said to her, uh, okay, okay, on low ball. Um, okay, on low ball. It means I'm going to stand next to my wife if you don't mind. And suddenly we were talking. In Chinese, she says, Kodian, so you're a little old man. She was, so she was saying the people who were working at the store were very slow. <coughs> then she asked me, Hey, my little Juga, did you need to make a hook then? She said, Do you live in America? Because your Chinese is really good. So I said to her, uh, I was like, I'm going to go What I said was, uh, when I was young, I went to the Chinese school. I studied Chinese. So I asked her if she lived in America because I said to her I lived in the Netherlands. Um, she knew America because she was uh, she went to America for an intern. Actually, she comes from China, but she went for an intern to America, and she immigrated to, uh, to America for a few for four years and her kids and the grandkids live also in America and she said to me life in Europe is good and because America is just so much different and she warned me um let I just say yeah um to a guy uh to sit I could sound good to kill some gun how long So she warned me because I'm a foreigner to watch out what I'm going to eat. Especially in Chinatown. There was a restaurant named Nan with the Jen in the name of the restaurant. So if I really translate it, it must be the old traditional money where the Chinese pay in gold and silver like the, the name of this money uh, called Nan Leung they pay in gold and silver so it was really funny to talk to her in Cantonese um, I remember she showed me what she bought she bought uh, she said to me 
all my set to learn I tell you it was some open shows for the summer it was you went to China she bought a show so she went to China and, uh, so she said she she asked me are the houses in Netherlands uh, cheap I said yeah it's not expensive the houses And then she said, I come lah, because um, we're about to pay for our goods. Yeah, we say goodbye to each other. I think I spoke your grandma. Funny short conversation with a stranger, you know. Not to cut the board, that's why I don't cut it through. Don't, don't want to damage the wooden board. I always like to try to talk to strangers, no matter where you come from, no matter who you are. left so and see you I hope you enjoy the story maybe I really spoke to your grandma you know Chinese grandma in San Francisco <laughs> so she went back to China with a pair of black shoes open shoes maybe you recognize her it's your grandma see you bye bye